this was a new article that came out on the 5th. I believe this is July 5th. Excuse me, the 12th, Monday on the 12th. Uh, excuse me, no, published. Published on, published on the 5th. It says, healthy Michigan boy, 13, dies in his sleep three days after receiving his second dose of the Pfizer vaccine as CDC does an investigation. It goes on to say, it says, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine have been found to cause myocarditis and inflammation of the heart in extremely rare cases, most of which are not severe. And of course, uh, the CDC had recently stated, I believe, that they wanted to put some sort of causation affirmation stating that, you know, a little warning symbol that it might cause myocarditis in some people. And of course, in very rare instances. It goes on to say, you know, it was a 13 year old boy from Michigan who died in his sleep. He got it from from Walgreens in Zilwaukee uh, on the 13th. It says, according to his aunt, it says she told uh, the Detroit Press that the only side effect that he would experience, he was experiencing was fatigue and fever, which were considered normal. It says he was an active member of his church community, uh, very faithful. Uh, described as a kind individual, it says it comes amid a growing international debate over whether children should be given the vaccine according to the cdc where there is a likely link between cases of heart failure of heart inflammation in adolescents and young adults and the pfizer and moderna uh, and the pfizer and moderna vaccines and so for many of these young people you can see a picture of him here for many of these young people who really we haven't seen a lot of articles talking about you know young people catching it getting sick ending up in the hospital for the most part it's typically your your geriatric patient or a morbidly obese individual with like diabetes high blood pressure etc and we really haven't seen a lot of articles talking about young people getting sick and so people state you know well what's what's the purpose of you know is it really worth it to give it to all these young people i believe they're even going into uh, younger infants, kids five and under, and they're pushing for you know little babies and stuff to get the, to get it. And if someone does, unfortunately, if there is no causation or not, and then the losing their life, well, then it, it may not be worth it. At least that is according to the international um, discussion that is going on right now. Because he loved uh, gaming and Pokemon, he had a good sense of humor. And his death, of course, is now being instiga uh, investigated by the CDC. And we kind of know how that goes for the most part. You know, when they were talking about blood clots, it was always, you know, no causation, no link. And then now, you know, after several months, they're like, eh, maybe, maybe, maybe there might be a chance that you might have this very rare sort of instance. It says, the it says the investigation as to whether there is a correlation between his death and the investigation is now under the federal level. And we, we kind of know how that's going to turn out. It says the statement added that the health department continues to encourage families to speak with their physicians to weigh their own risks and benefits. And of course, you have to do your own research. You know, from, for the most part, you know, most physicians are going to push and say, well, you know, state says, you know, they're going to read the pamphlet. And, and give you the information that the company wants you to read. And that's why when you hear a lot of, it was like a lot of social media blocking, whether it's you know from Facebook or YouTube, on Instagram or on Twitter, where they've had a lot of different doctors that have stated things to the contrary. And of course, those people get the hammer, right? Those people get the hammer, videos get pulled down. And so the conversation is not always a very free flowing in terms of the information that we in essence are allowed to have and of course to distribute from you know, people might say it's medical misinformation and well that's for you to decide you have to listen to both of the arguments weigh the facts and pay attention to observable reality and we can't ignore observable reality in favor of a narrative you know people might try to push people they're like well give you a little money how about some lotto you know you can take your masks off you know it's this sort of negotiation tactics that are being utilized instead of just straightforward you know giving you this these are the facts right these are the facts these are the numbers and make a decision for the most part i think most people should be aware that 
in terms of the statistics that you know in terms of especially for young people like this that you have a 99 plus percent survival rate even when i've even done videos when the sky was falling in the uk and they were like this is a disaster and then when you look at the data the data showed that the survivability rate was, was like 98.5 for most people and so of course many people start to question the narrative of oh, well this is a, a disease with a high survivability rate and some people are having some serious side effects like myocarditis some people are having stroke like symptoms i've taken care of some patients in the hospital um typically geriatric patients who come in and they're coming in for stroke like symptoms post jab and most in the last couple of patients that I've taken care of who were positive patients were po were positive patients who had already been fully vaxxed. And so people want to be able to weigh and just say, well, I don't think it's really right for me. I'm young. I'm healthy. I'm not obese. I don't have diabetes, et cetera. And people are saying, well, you, you can't make that decision. They want to pressure you, tell you you're going to be responsible for, you know, x y and z your people are going to die you're going to kill grandma etc and things like that and it's really not necessarily that all the information like i said before is being shared with individuals which is why i say you have to be your own reporter you've got to be your own statistician you have to sit there and you have to crunch the numbers you have to dig a little deeper you can't just sit there and let the you know the idiot box wash over you and just nod your head in agreement with everything that gets said because of stuff like this right because of stuff like this.